class 8 after after half an exam now we are starting our syllabus again and in the previous video i told you and i explained the uh, this chapter chapter number 10 algebraic expressions and identities and you have already done 10.1 and 10.2 exercise now today i am starting 10.3 exercise and i have taken first question first part in which you have to multiply binomial equation by the binomial see how to do 5x minus 2 multiplied by 3x plus 4 now what we'll do we will write the first term of first equation uh, this expression and then we'll write down the whole expression of the second one 3x plus 4 then minus 2 is left we'll write down this minus 2 over here it will be multiplied by 3x plus 4. Now we'll open the bracket and um, while opening the bracket we have to multiply this term with this term. 5 into 3 is 15 and x into x is x squared. Similarly plus sign is here so we will put the plus sign because plus plus is plus 5 4 is 20 and this x will also come with this number. Now minus plus is minus. 2, 3 is a 6 and this x will come over here. Then minus plus is minus again. 2, 4 is a 8 will come over here. Now 20x and 6x, these two are like terms and minus sign is there. So we can subtract the number and your answer will be 15x square plus 20 minus 6 is 14x minus 8. This is the answer. Now I have taken question number 2, first part, in which trinomial is given. Three terms are given. You have to multiply it by binomial. So, we will write down the binomial first. x plus 2y multiplied by x minus, sorry, 2y minus plus 3. Now, this will be multiplied by the whole term. It is x, x minus 2y plus 3 and then plus sign over here 2y is here so we will write down 2y and multiply by the whole term of this second bracket whatever the term is given in second bracket now open we will open the bracket x into x is x square minus 2 x into 2y is 2xy plus 3 into x is 3x plus 2y into x is 2xy minus sign will come because plus minus is minus 2 2 is a 4 y square plus 2 3 is a 6 and y now we'll see the like terms only 2xy 2xy are like terms so this will be cancelled because one is plus the other is minus and now what is left x square plus 3x from here minus 4y square plus 6y this is your answer of this. Now, I am explaining the portions of 10.4 exercise in which you have to divide. Now, divide, I have taken portion number 1, first part. Divide minus 39 pq square r to the power 5 by minus 24 pq q square and r. So, we will write down the term like this. Minus 39 p q square r to the power 5 divided by minus 24 p q q square r this will be can be written as minus 39 p q square r to the power 5 upon minus 24 p q q square r now minus minus will be cancelled 24 and 39 both the numbers are divisible by 3 so we can divide it by 3 3 is 24 3 when the 3 3 3 is a 9 now here the power p uh, here uh, power of p is 3 and here power of p is 1 and q squared q squared can be cancelled and here what we'll do we'll write down 13 upon 8 which is left from here and r raised to the power 5 minus 1 because r is to the power 5 upon r is there it is, it is not having any power 
it means there is a power 1 and when we take it in the numerator it changes into minus sign similarly here p raised to the power 3 and this 1 is over here so if this numerator p is in numerator so if we take it into the denominator it would change into minus 1 so the answer will be 13 upon 8 r raised to the power 4 upon p raised to the power 2 this is the answer of this question now the uh, question number two first part here one two three four terms are there and it has to be divided by 3x so it will be written as 9x to the power 4 minus 8x cube minus 12x plus 3 this whole term divided by 3x now how will it divide we'll take this 3x below all the terms minus 8x cube upon 3x minus 12x upon 3x and plus 3 upon 3x now 3 number will be cancelled 3 3 is a 9 here 3 4 is a 12 and this 3 1 is 3 so what will left from here 3x to the power 4 minus 1 as we take this x to the numerator minus 8 upon 3 x to the power 3 minus 1 here x x will be cancelled minus 4 is left plus 1 upon x is left over here so this will be 3 x to the power 3 minus 8 upon 3 x to the power 2 minus 4 plus 1 upon x this is the answer of this question now see question number 3 first part in which you have to divide the trinomial by the binomial so you will write down the number 6x squared plus 13x plus 5 and it will be divided by 2x plus 1 now see over here how to divide this trinomial by the binomial you will see the first term of the divisor the first term of divisor is 2x and the first term of dividend is 6x squared. So you have to think by which term we will multiply this 2x to get 6x squared. That will be 3x because 2, 3 is a 6 and x into x will be x squared. So 6x squared will get so we will multiply both the terms. This 3x will be written over here and then we will multiply the divisor by 3x. 3x into 2x is 6x squared. And then 3x plus uh, multiplied by plus 1 is 3x only. So we'll write down this 3x over here. We have to subtract the term. In subtraction, we have to change the sign. So first change the sign. 6 minus 6 will be 0. And 13 minus 3. You have to consider this minus sign. Uh, because this plus sign is changing to minus. Now 13 minus 3 is 10x plus we will take this term over here, 10x will come over here. Now the first term of the dividend is 10x and the first term of the divisor is 2x. By which term we will multiply this uh, 2x to get 10x. So that will be 5 only because 5 to the 10 and this x will come from here. So and uh, because both the terms are plus so we will multiply this by plus 5. Plus 5 into 2x is 10x. And plus 5 into 1, oh sorry, multiplied by 1 is 5 and 5 only. We'll subtract these terms. We have to change the sign. 10x minus 10x is 0. 5 minus 5 is also 0. Therefore, the answer is 3x plus 5. This is your question. Now, I'm taking another uh, question. Question number 4, first part in this polynomial is there more than three three term four terms are there and you have to divide it by 3x minus 7 so same procedure we have to follow as we have done in question number uh, three so 6x cubed plus x squared minus 26x minus 25 divided by 3x minus 7 now we'll see the first term of the dividend it is 6x cubed and the first term of the divisor is 3x by 2x squared if we multiply so 3 to the 6 x into x squared is x cube so 6 x cube will come over here and when we multiply 2x squared by 7 we get minus 14 
x square. So this minus 14 x square will come below this x square. Like terms will be written below like terms. Now we have to change the sign. Minus sign will come over here. This minus will change into plus sign. Now this will be cancelled. 6 minus 6 is 0. And now both the sign are plus. And 14 plus 1 is 15 x square. Now we will take another term from here. Minus 26 x will come from here. Now 15 x square we have to get out of this 3 x. So we will multiply this by 5 x. So plus 5 x will come over here. 5 x into 3 x is 15 x square. And 5 x into minus 7 is 5 7 is 35. 35 x. Now if we subtract we have to change the sign. This plus will change into minus. This will be cancelled. 35 minus 26 is 9 x. And minus 25 is left from here. Minus 25 will come over here. To get 9x out of this 3x, we will multiply by plus 3. Plus 3 into 9, 3x is 9x. And plus 3 minus this is 21. 7, 3 is a 21. We will subtract it. Minus sign. Change the sign. Minus will change into plus. 9x minus 9x is cancelled. Minus plus is minus 25. Minus 24 is, uh, sorry, 21 is 4. And 25 is greater than 21. So the sign of 25 is minor. So minus sign will come with this 4. And this is the remainder. Okay. So this is the quotient. And minus 4 is the remainder in this quotient. I hope you have understood the quotient of multiplication and division of 10.3 and 10.4 exercise. And this video will help you to solve the quotient of these two exercises.